Hey guys, Brendan Productions here, and welcome to my second Java tutorial. Now this tutorial is actually uh, recorded on the uh, same day I made my first tutorial, but I figured out that I missed something, plus people might want to break in between tutorials. So in this tutorial we're going to be using the Eclipse Editor once again, and uh, we're going to be using the same project that we did in the first part, but we're just going to be adding a few things. So today I'm going to be going over if statements. So, um, in the first tutorial, we showed how to create variables, or at least string variables, and how to display them on the screen. Well, now I'm going to get a little more advanced and actually uh, use if statements to display something on the screen. So, what we're going to do is actually um, delete these two lines of code here, and instead of making strings, we're actually going to make some integers. So, this can be done with the code int and then we need the variable name so how about number and then we need to say equal to I'm just gonna say 24 and then a semicolon to end the line and int is giving us an error so it looks like it needs to be lowercase so now we actually have declared a different type of variable an integer which is just like a string except in on instead of only storing um, alphabetic characters and symbols this can only store numbers so uh, this is good for adding and subtracting values but for now we are going to just use it in a simple if statement so we are going to start with this if statement by opening up a tab or pressing tab to indent and then go ahead and start so we're going to say first of all if you didn't know what an if statement is it is something like in a sentence if the floor is wet, then mop it up. If the floor is wet, then mop it up. That is a uh, if statement. So if this floor is actually wet, then you need to mop it up. It's the very same principle in a program. If the number is 24, then write the number is 24, which is essentially what we're going to be doing. So the first thing we need to do is actually tell it if. And now we need to state the condition. So what needs to be true in order to execute this? So we need to open and close parentheses and uh, actually type the condition in here. So we're going to say if number is 24 and how you do a equal to sign in if in a Java if statement is by putting two equal signs. So if number is really really equal to 24 then we are going to open up an if block. And an if block is just like the class or the public static void it uses curly brackets to determine when it is starting and finished and as you can see it automatically closes this statement so if the number is really 24 then we are going to write which I that's just a simple comment so as you learn from tutorial one we are going to do system dot out dot print line number is 24 we're gonna add a semicolon to end the line and um, now we're actually going to uh, test out the program. So if we press run up here, press OK, we get in the console that the number is 24. Because right here we have told it, the program, that the number is 24. And then we're saying, if it is 24, then write. But now we can do something else. We can say, if the number is something besides 24, by using an else statement. In a real life application, this is like, if the floor is wet, then mop it up. Otherwise, don't mop it up. An else statement is just like an otherwise statement. So, where we put this else statement is right after the curly bracket that ends the if statement. And normally this is indented into the if statement. So we're going to say else, and then open up a curly bracket. And um, then we've got an else statement right here. So we're creating an integer with the value of 24 and if the number is 24 then we're doing this however if the number is something else then we're doing what is inside this if statement which is writing and this time we're going to write system dot out dot print line number is not 24 and then we're going to use a semicolon to uh, end the line and this is a very simple application in Java. Uh, all we're doing is uh, just using basic integer values to 
and if statements to determine whether or not the number is 24. So if we go ahead and change the number over here to 23 and run the program, you can see that in the console we get the uh, result number is not 24. And this is simply because number is not 24. And uh, sorry to cut this short, but you know I really kind of want to go get a smoothie. <laughs> so um, this was a basic tutorial on if and else statements in Java. Uh, everything else what has been covered in previous tutorials. I'm just going to change this back to 24. So um, thanks for watching. I hope you learned a little bit from this tutorial. And uh, please remember to rate, comment, subscribe, and have a great day.